What attracts Latin women to American men? The number one thing that attracts Latin women to American men is the novelty, the newness, freshness, and the uniqueness. We all like the newness of something or someone. And that tall, dark, or blonde American man with a gringo accent fits that title to a T. But what happens when the newness wears off for her? Will she still be attracted to her American man? We're going to come back to this one in a moment. Financial stability. Of course, this is a no-brainer. A man that can give a woman financial security is going to want that. Number three, she might want to go to the U.S. However, Ecuadorian women are not oppressed in Ecuador. They have food and clothing and a roof over their head every night. And no one is going to allow an Ecuadorian woman to be homeless on the streets in Ecuador. We've never ever seen a down and out woman living on the streets in Ecuador like you see in the U.S. It's just not here. Yes, there are impoverished people in Ecuador, but they have loving families and generally speaking do have a good home and a hot meal to eat every single day. So she may or may not want to leave her family and go to the USA. Be careful of gold diggers. They live in all the cultures. Also, we want to add this. Ecuadorian women do admire things of the U.S., but that does not necessarily mean they want to move to the U.S. And if they have a good relationship with their parents, they probably will not want to move to the U.S. However, the Ecuadorian woman needs to know ahead of time that she needs to follow her man wherever his work or career is if she intends on marrying him. Yes, I'm one of those old-fashioned ladies that believes a woman should follow her man, not the other way around. Moving on, let's get down to the nitty-gritty and explore number one on our list now. Loving the man in marriage. Why do we not say falling in love? Falling in love is not real love. People fall in love all the time because of the newness, the excitement, and the lustfulness of what the mainstream media like to call the dating period. Everything is good, right? The novelty period may last for one month, six months, one year, two years, or even more. But then something changes. When the relationship has any kind of issue, the falling in love thing is, I'm not in love with you anymore. That's because you never were in love to begin with. The relationship was based purely on the newness of each other, and that is why when tested, it can't stand under the storms. And this brings us back to number one, the novelty, the newness and the freshness and the uniqueness. That was the number one thing that attracts Ecuadorian women to the foreign man. But when the novelty wears off, will she still be attracted to you? Well, that depends on her and her values, doesn't it? So know her very well before you head to the altar. Hopefully you've been following along with this lesson and understand that marriages fail because people marry the one they think they fell in love with rather than being committed from the start and simply just loving the one you married through the good times as well as the bad. Commitment. It's all about commitment. Hint. Love is not that giddy, sexual, lustful, euphoric feeling you get in the novelty of a new relationship. That's nothing but feelings hopped up in overdrive. Love is a verb and it takes action from you to complete it. Love gives of itself each and every day. Love respects one another through the good and the bad times. Love forgives over and over and over again. Love is commitment. Anyone can fall in love, but most people cannot love the one they marry. Thank you.